dark matter. What is it? We know it's there. We're absolutely sure now it's there from many different measurements, from the way that galaxies rotate, the way that galaxies interact with each other, and the whole evolution of the universe actually requires there to be dark matter. About five times as much dark matter as there is matter. So it, it, it completely outweighs the stuff out of which we are made, and all the stars we can see in the sky are made. So it doesn't glow. It's not stars, which is why it's called dark matter. What is it? It is... As a particle physicist, I would say it's probably, but this, that's an unscientific thing to say, but if I had to guess, it, it's a new kind of particle, I would guess. So it, one, a particle which we haven't discovered yet. Um, that there are theories, many theories in particle physics, that suggest that there are other particles out there that are waiting to be discovered at places like the Large Hadron Collider. And um, so I, I think the evidence tends to suggest there should be some new kind of particle. And we may discover it. We have experiments in underground laboratories that are literally looking for the dark matter that we fly through as the Earth orbits around the sun and the solar system goes around the galaxy and the galaxy passes through the universe. We're flying through this dark matter. So it does come through. It should be, it should be in this room now and in the room where you're sitting now. But it interacts very weakly with normal matter. So we have experiments looking for the very rare times when those dark matter particles might bump in to some matter. So we can look for it that way. Or we can try and make these new particles at particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider. So that's what, that would be my guess. It's a new kind of particle.